So Apple's WWDC just, uh, or like the WWDC keynote just went by and I wanted you to um, quickly, yeah, get a glance on specifically what Apple did with AI and I am honestly glad to say they did exactly what I would love them to do. So um, what you see behind me is our guy, Craig Federighi. <laughs> um, I think the next CEO of uh, Apple, uh, as far as I, I'm concerned, I, I think he might do it. But yeah, he was really present in the whole uh, in this whole setup. So um, yeah, we have uh, so Apple intelligence. <laughs> it's kind of goofy. It's like it's a really Apple way. Um, yeah, but I don't want to direct this on too long. So AI stands for artificial intelligence. Apple goes ahead, makes it Apple intelligence because it's the Apple way. Is it? Is it not? I think uh, we, we will have to see. Apple, um, like always, has a lot of emphasis on privacy. So what they basically done. So let's start with that. Um, so you have like on-device machine learning in most of the stuff, but Apple has following problem. Like they have like the latest. Um, iPhone chip and they have like the M1 chip which has a neural engine from 2020 um, and how do they solve that and as far as I understood they kind of created a bubble where they have private cloud compute that's what they think like they build up Apple Silicon server farms for you so as soon as your device is not able to to yeah properly use AI because it's not capable enough because you have an older chip it actually goes ahead and uses the private compute cloud um, to yeah uh, account for that. In addition to that, they also added um, the first external AI um, with the hint that they want to add even more down the road, um, which is yeah basically, um, which is basically them integrating ChatGPT into the system, which is awesome. Um, they integrate the free version, and you, if you have the paid subscription, you can do it. So you might think, what's about privacy? Well, Apple has integrated it like in a two-step way, so that if they just need the information of the big model, like for its cre creativity, stuff like that, without any personal information, they just call it through Siri. Uh, Siri got completely revamped uh, on this whole thing. And they go ahead, they take all the... Um, they take all the requests and if they have to send like private photos or something, they will ask you for it. Like, so it's an opt in if you want to send any private information. Um, that said, um, I'm really, I'm really stoked to see what, what Apple has done and how deeply they have integrated it. I will quickly uh, go over uh, some of the features just to not um, go too deep, but <clears throat> yeah, I'm actually, actually really uh, satisfied with what Apple does. Uh, what they did. Um, one thing they, they put a big emphasis on was the uh, image playground. You can now generate emojis on the fly. You can generate images from from uh, in three different uh, ways. You have the <coughs> an, uh, animation style, like 3D animation. You have a sketch style and you have like, I think, a comics, comic uh, type of style. I forgot how they called it. Um, one thing I'm really looking for, because like just today I was writing an article in my notes app and I was thinking like, oh, now I have to copy to ChatGPT to, uh, for it to be corrected. Would be nice to have it integrated into the system. And who would, would have thought um, they introduced writing tools. Writing tools are basically um, a whole suite of, of, um, of tools where you can, uh, from, from just correction up to like, yeah, I have this parameter, so like write me a poem for an invitation stuff like that. Um, it sounded like everything's mostly on device. Yeah, we'll see how this how, how this goes along. Uh, Clean up in photos was something uh, that you already see on the Google side and Samsung uh, also did it in the beginning of the year where but they, they took it kind of a bit further because it automatically uh, uh, detects what's not supposed to be in the frame. Uh, and then you can erase just like stuff in the background and it even separates the people in the foreground So that's something that was already in iOS. Yeah, well, yeah, um, I think it's nice um, They have audio recording so you can record calls and you can record just audio into your notes Which will be transcribed on device uh, the caller 
it, like the the other the one on the other side of the line will get a notification if anything is started um, to to record. Mm -hmm. They updated the mail app automatic categorizations. One thing I really liked was they summarized notification of long chats so that you don't have to go through all the chat messages but gets uh, notifications. Like I love that. That's the kind of deep integration you can't do if you're not Apple or Google for that matter. Um, so I would love I would have loved to see this in Android too. Um, they also went ahead and um, added stuff to the Photos app. Um, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff. One stuff that's really and especially interesting for all of you developers, if you have any uh, uh, any app or anything on the platform, they invented something they call like uh, App Intense, which basically means you can create functions for Siri to use in your app because Siri is not only now like using Gen AI and generating text and images. Siri is now able to use apps like the Apple ones from from the get-go as far as I know and the um, everything else is yeah kind of yeah, so somewhere around the ballpark um, uh, where you can take the app intent deliver it um, and then Siri is able to use your app uh, they already showed some apps that integrate this um, this just I like a lot of convenience stuff. For example, you have a photo and you're just like, I want the photo to pop and then it just auto automatically applies filters on, uh, that match the photo. Really, really cool stuff. Um, it's all personal. I think they have some kind of vector database uh, for semantic search that they collect on device. I'm not, I think they don't collect screenshots like Microsoft does it. Um, they, they went a bit further and a, a bit more like in detail and depth. Still, also, we have to check for privacy concerns there. Like with Microsoft Recall, it's like, what's, what if your device gets hacked? What will what information are available? Stuff like that. So, um, my first opinion is, I think Apple has done it a bit better for not like just taking screenshots blindly, but just indexing all your personal context which they have on the device all your photos all your interactions uh, browser history stuff like that i think um so they just index what you already have so um and if i think if you don't know what to ask for siri is pretty much useless because siri is like the only entrance you have to get to that data and siri is deciding on what to get and and what what to in, like for enrichment of your answer or like co your context so from a first opinion i think that will be fine we will see um yeah is there anything else yeah i think that's uh that's that's interesting well one one thing for the focus uh modes uh reduce interruptions um is one way where the uh, Apple intelligence framework tries to identify the importance of message in context of your current focus mode and let the uh, uh, message through or not. And that's, I think, really useful. For example, if you have something important f uh, like with your kids or you have to, to get your kid from, from school or something, um, uh, it recognizes that lets this message through but from the same person blocks everything else. And right now you only have the option to like block specific persons, not specific content. So um, yeah, a lot of really cool stuff. A lot should be able to uh, to be done on device. I'm pretty sure like the latest Apple chips are pretty capable. Um, I think the next iPhone will get a, a huge upgrade. The M4 already got uh, ML uh, processing units on CPU and uh, a bit sad was iPadOS. I thought they like explained what the M4 does actually, but no mention about that. No new hardware. Uh, a lot of other stuff. I don't want to go about it, like because for me, like the AI stuff was the most important. They delivered on that integrate native integration ChatGPT, also nice uh, with opt-in. So yeah, um, that said, I'm really looking forward. This all should come out. And to beta users, like in summer, autumn, I think it's still a bit out, so it's not a we're not will not, not be able to install it this week. And yeah, let's see what the next days uh, maybe pops up from from all the Apple sessions. But in general, I really really like that, and they also improved the notes app a lot on iPadOS. And yeah, just a lot of stuff. Thanks for listening.